Good morning. Please join in singing. We are one in the spirit. We are one in the spirit. We are one in the Lord. We are one in the spirit. We are one in the Lord. And we pray that our unity may one day be restored. And they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. Good morning. Good morning. This Mass is being streamed live. And for those of you joining us via the internet, welcome. We're glad you could be with us this morning. Today's it Mass intentions are from Mario Crotti. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge your <clears throat> sins and uh, receive our grace. I confess to Almighty God, and, and to, to you, you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in, in my, my thoughts, thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed, failed to do. do. Through, through my fault, fault through, through my fault, fault through, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Virgin Mary, Mary ever Virgin, Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, you my brothers and sisters, sisters to pray, pray for me to the Lord, Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Attend to the prayers of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Samuel. The Philistines gathered for an attack on Israel. Israel went out to engage them in battle and camped at Ebenezer, while the Philistines camped at Aphek. The Philistines then drew up in battle formation against Israel. After a fierce struggle, Israel was defeated by the Philistines, who slew about 4,000 men on the battlefield. When the troops retired to the camp, the elders of Israel said, why has the Lord permitted us to be defeated today by the Philistines? Let us fetch the ark of the Lord from Shiloh that it may go into battle among us and save us from the grasp of our enemies. So the people went to Shiloh and brought from there the ark of the Lord of hosts who is enthroned upon the cherubim. The two sons of Eli, Hophni and Phinehas, were with the Ark of God. When the Ark of the Lord arrived at camp, all Israel shouted so loudly that the earth resounded. The Philistines, hearing the noise of shouting, asked, what can this loud shouting in the camp of the Hebrews mean? On learning that the Ark of the Lord had come into the camp, the Philistines were frightened. They said, gods have come to their camp. They said also, woe to us. This has never happened before. Woe to us. Who can deliver us from the power of these mighty gods? These are the gods that struck the Egyptians with various plagues and with pestilence. Take courage and be manly, Philistines. Otherwise, you will become slaves to the Hebrews as they were your slaves, so fight manfully. The Philistines fought, and Israel was defeated. Every man fled to his own tent. It was a disastrous defeat in which Israel lost 30,000 foot soldiers. The Ark of God was captured, and Eli's two sons, Hophni and Phinehas, were among the dead. The word of the Lord. Thanks to be to God. Redeem us, Lord, because of your mercy. Redeem us, Lord, because of mercy. 
Yet now you have cast us off and put us in disgrace, and you go not forth with our armies. You have left, let us be driven back by our foes, those who hated and plundered us at will. Redeem us, Lord, Lord of us. You made us reproach the reproach of our neighbors, the mockery and the scorn of those around us. You made us a byword among the nations, a laughing stock among the peoples. Redeem us, O Lord, and your smallness. Why do you hide your face, forgetting our woe and our oppression? For our souls are bowed down to the dust, our bodies are pressed to the earth. Redeem us, O Lord, and O Zalmos your blessing, Father. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, go and proclaim the good news. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Jesus <coughs> preached the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. A leper came to him, and kneeling down, begged him and said, If you wish, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand, touched the leper, and said to him, I will do it, be made clean. The leprosy left him immediately, and he was made clean. Then, warning him sternly, he dismissed him at once. Then he said to him, See that you tell no one anything, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed. That will be proof for them. The man went away and began to publicize the whole matter. He spread the report abroad so that it was impossible for Jesus to enter a town openly. He remained outside in deserted places and people kept coming to him from, from everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's the first reading reminds us that uh, entitlement is not a guarantee. The Israelites, for them, they thought being the chosen people, they thought that they have been entitled for everything, even at the middle of their war, at the fight. Despite of bringing the tent during the war, they lost. What does it mean? God is not the God of uh, conviction, of saying that uh, because of our entitlement, he will take care of us. Because they were not uh, faithful, and God was not uh, on their side. They lost. And wherever they put their trust in God, God was with them. That's who we are. When we separate with God, life is so miserable. And that's why in the, first, the gospel today reminds us, we all, we are struggling life. We have our own issues, our own problems. We are all sick in one way or another. So this young man was being sick with leprosy for years, for a long time. And he was waiting to be cured, but nobody has helped him except Jesus. And he asked God, if you wish, you can make me heal. Can me make me cured? And Jesus did it. And after being cured, he told him, go and show yourselves to the priest. And what happened for this young man? Started spreading. Oh, Jesus did this. And yeah, imagine, you have been waiting. We have been sick in the hospital for years. And then someone just over in the heart, the doctor has just uh, helped you everything. Why not to say thank God, eh, to cherish? He did it purposely. But why Jesus stopped him not to spread to people? First of all, today Jesus is telling us, 
For him he has come so that we may have life. He did it with humility. He fulfilled his God's will. And he did it out of love. And with full of compassion. And he did want to show himself so that go and show the no. He wanted this man to have that personal encounter, personal relationship to be in touch with Jesus. But at the same time, he knew that uh, this man is going to spread all these things. So let us be humble. When we do something good to our brothers and sisters, we don't need to say, oh, I've done this and this. No. People themselves, they will appreciate. People themselves, they will show what God has done wonders in their lives. So in today's gospel, let us be like Jesus to humble ourselves when we do something good. But also let us be like this man to be thankful for what God has done to us. Because when you are cured, you are healed, whether in your spiritual journey in work, your relationship with God always is strengthened. And let us be connected in the presence of God. Amen. Please stand. Lord Jesus, you have showed us that you have come so that we may have life, life abundantly. And we know that with all our ups and downs, we put our trust in you and guide us and gives us strength. And for this, we pray. For us to recognize God's mercy working in our lives and praise him for his unconditional love, we pray to the Lord. As the leper had faith that Christ could heal him, let us have faith in God's plan for our lives and trust in his wisdom, we pray to the Lord. For us to continue to seek to know God better through prayer and time, listening for his voice in our lives, we pray to the Lord. For our YOA youth and volunteers who will be participating in running with Jesus this weekend to be strengthened by God's grace, we pray to the Lord. For peace to enter our world by seeking justice for all people, especially in the Holy Land, Ukraine, Africa, and other areas of unraised, we pray to the Lord. For our Ascension family to encounter Jesus in the Eucharist and then share his love with others, we pray to the Lord. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
it is truly right and just uh, due to know salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures save you, all the redeemed praise you, and the all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joy of celebration we are claim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts. We pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that we have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that in partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Barry, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Mario Crotti, whom you have called from this world to yourself, grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and o honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forget of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from 
do for us, Lord, we pray from evil, evil, gracious, grand peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to you, our apostles of peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. For live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. the body and blood be united to us in that one. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
With you, O Lord, is the fountain of life, and in your light we see light. Let us pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renewed with your sacraments may also save with lives pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. On behalf of Deacon Jim, I want to say thank you for your prayers and for your participation. And for those who are watching online also, thank you for your prayers and for your participation. The Israelites, they thought maybe entitlement is enough for them to feel as God's children. But they forgot that God wants them more than that. To save him, to love him, and to continue to be faithful in his presence. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Your May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks to be to God. God. Please join in singing. They'll know we are Christians by our love. We will walk with each other. We will walk hand in hand we will walk with each other we will walk hand in hand and together we'll spread the news that god is in our land and they'll know we are christians by our love by our love Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love.